Montessori versus traditional preschool or daycare. Which one is better for your child? This is what I'll cover in this video and you might be surprised by my answer. Now before I start, I've already created a video about whether Montessori is worth it for your child. You can find the link in the description above or below. Or you can find it linked here. Now if you're new here, welcome. I release weekly videos. Like this Facebook page so you don't miss out on any videos. Subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any videos. Now let's jump in. What's better, Montessori or traditional preschool or daycare? In short, the answer is, it depends. Montessori and traditional preschool each have their own advantages and disadvantages. It depends on the learning style of your child and your philosophy and focus around education. Here's my one advice to you if you're debating right now if your child should attend Montessori traditional preschool. Spend some time observing the classroom and do a thorough tour where you can observe children during a work period. Look at three things. Number one, the environment. Is it quiet? Is it lively? Is it orderly? Does this fit your child's temperament and energy? You want to make sure that the environment is the right place for your child to flourish. Number two, the teacher. Are they responsive to the children in the classroom? Are they assisting them? How are they teaching the children? In a Montessori classroom, at the end of the year, the kids are expected to be independent. So teachers may not necessarily be interacting with them as much as they initially did in the beginning of the school year. The best time to visit a Montessori classroom is at the beginning and end of the year. In the beginning of the year, you're able to observe how the teachers are interacting with the children when they're still adjusting into the classroom. And at the end of the year, you're able to see the end results of those interactions. Number three, the learning outcome. Is your child going to be prepared for the following years? Are they being held back? Does it meet all the requirements of the Ministry of Education where you're at? The first few years of your child's education is critical because it's the foundation for their future success. At the end of the day, this is your child's education. So find out how flexible the school is to each child's interests and abilities. For example, if you have an active, energetic child, is there time for physical and outdoor play? If you want to encourage that development of your child's creativity, do they encourage creativity and how? If you have a curious child who loves to learn rapidly, will the environment allow them to move through the materials at their own speed? Or is learning heavily regulated only by the teacher? One thing I do need to warn you is to be critical of any advertising materials from the schools you are considering. They might be over-promising and under-delivering, or they might be highlighting a best-case scenario that may not apply to most children. Let me share with you some comparisons between Montessori and traditional preschool. Keep in mind that these are general points, so I'm not saying all Montessori and traditional preschools fit these categories. In traditional preschools, most teaching is done by the teacher. It is more program-focused, and the goal is for the students to master the curriculum objectives. The environment tends to be highly structured in terms of time where every subject is taught at specific periods of the day. The learning space is loosely structured, meaning each classroom may be organized differently. In a Montessori classroom, students are encouraged by teachers to explore their learning interests. Teachers don't lecture but guide each student in a self-directed, self-paced learning style. It is more child-focused, and the goal is for each child to become independent and take ownership of their own development. The environment is loosely structured in time where children are allowed to explore their desired learning topics through the day. The learning space is highly structured. If you know where children are in the room, you know what they're doing. Once again, these are just broad, generalized differences between Montessori and traditional preschool. Take it with a grain of salt. The best way to help you decide what's best for your child is to get a tour of the school. And to summarize, look at three things. One, the learning environment. Two, the teacher's interactions with the students. Three, the learning outcomes for each student. How about you? Do you have tips on how to decide between Montessori or traditional preschool? Let me know in the comments below. In any case, if you enjoyed this video, please share this with your friends and family. Tag them below. To get more weekly videos like this, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of the future videos. Bye!